Hey everybody, it is Merry Christmas, Christmas time. We got the Christmas shade, excited about that. I only use this like once or twice a year. Noble Otter the night before. This is Unobtainium Noble Otter. Nice. It's kind of a powdery scent to me. Maybe some like frankincense or something. It's just a very powdery scent I'm getting, but my sniffer, I can't remember what it normally smells like. My sniffer's off. Um, but they don't make this scent anymore. I think the one they do now is Tis the Season with their newer label style. But scent notes on this are pink peppercorn, balsam fir, mistletoe, rosemary, amber, sandalwood, vanilla, frankincense, myrrh, sandalwood. Probably getting some of that. And uh, we'll go ahead and put up, you know what, base ingredients don't matter. You can't get this, so. Dead matter. So, this is my Smiles for Miles. I got rid of my Ken Surf's Christmas brush because this is replacing my Christmas brush. Um, it says Wasp Tail. I really, I like the colors, I like the design. He gifted it to me as in, hey, try out this new knot I got. Knot's all right. I wouldn't want it for face lathering, but it does great in the bowl. So, we're just gonna Got a good lather, get a nice, good, comfortable shave in, use that car bison. Exciting, there we go. I do think I left a chunk of soap somewhere in the lather when I was lab vigorously lathering, that's how I put it. A lot of splaying, a lot of pressure in the bowl. Just trying to get this lather going. Soap was pretty hard because I've had it a few years. There we go. We're going to say that's good enough. What do you say, guys? Ladies and gents. I don't know what I have in here. It's working great, whatever it is. Oh, yeah. I like this razor. It's Christmassy as well. Green. Green and red. That's what we got going on. And actually a Christmas themed or scented soap. I'm pretty sure this is the only one I have left. It's a Christmas scented soap. Oh yeah, that, that's feeling good. We have been watching movies all day and uh, all night. Kind of been my thing. Did some Mexican yesterday. Today we did some pizza. Just making stuff around the house I enjoy eating while watching some movies. Like, you can make tacos, guys. And it's just easy to go back and heat up the meat and, like, make more tacos when you're ready. Gotta love it. Whew. So, I hope everybody is spending Christmas with family and loved ones. And if not, whatever you're doing, enjoying yourself. I enjoy myself on Christmas. I'm going to finish doing some gifts. Wrapped up. I've been lazy. I said I was going to do it before then, but still haven't finished wrapping all the gifts. Did go to the grocery store, picked up some candy to put in the kids' stockings, and a couple of stupid little toys. You know, just to throw in there some Hot Wheels and stuff. They don't have a nice work week, Tuesday through Friday. I either get the kids Friday night or Saturday morning. I don't think I'm working that Saturday. They're going to say like full day and stuff, and I'm not doing full day. You know, if I'm volunteering, I'm 
that's like my Christmas with the kids. So I'm not gonna take a full day. Hmm. Really nice shave, guys. Y'all have a favorite Christmas song? So for me, I gotta hear Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. That is my jam for Christmas. Pretty much my favorite Christmas song. Yep. Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. There we go. Now I can't think of the other one I really like. It's, uh, I'll think of it. Maybe I won't. Jingle Bell Rock. Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Rock. Yep, I like those. I'm gonna hit the neck one more time. Really nice scent, guys. I do appreciate everybody getting me over a thousand subscribers and all the views. Greatly appreciated. I know you can do whatever you want with your time and choosing to watch me. I do greatly appreciate it. Paint in some water. A little bit more water painted in. Playing. Make sure we get it good and hydrated all the way to the skin. I think there's a little piece of soap in there. All right, final pass. Hmm. Trying to hold my breath when I puff out my cheeks like that. There we go. All right, let's try the infamous. We'll see if we get irritation from that. My neck does not like that move. Um, I think I've mentioned before the one blade is the only thing that doesn't irritate. And I don't own that razor anymore. Oh, we nicked. That's just so against the grain for me. And my neck does not like it. All right, guys, you know the drill. We're going to rinse up. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. That was some really good slickness, residual, like, it's great to have a nice slick, residual slickness soap, but when you go to rinse your face afterwards, it takes forever. So, but we finally got it rinsed dry. Shake, shake, shake. Use the matching splash. There we go. Little tingle right here, actually, which makes sense. Like, it felt tuggy through here doing that. My, it's just, I guess it's real coarse through there against the grain. I don't know. My neck doesn't like it. The only time, like I said, I haven't had any issues is when I use uh, the one blade, but I don't own that anymore. I sent that to Maddie Lindholm. I don't know if he sent it to someone else to use afterwards, but it was just a different style razor I wanted to share with him. Smiles for miles. I don't know what kind of knot this is, but it's a little too backbony. And the issues I was finding with these knots is 
they tend to lose hairs, and it's a synthetic, guys. Synthetic hair shouldn't be lost easily. Um, it's a pet peeve. I don't like it with natural hair, and it really ticks me off with synthetic because it should be a non-issue with the synthetic. We whipped it up in the beautiful new aquamarine Captain's Choice. Man, it's sexy. We use the sexy bison. And guys, like I said, I wish you all a Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. And you get everything you want from Santa. You know, that's, that's all we can ask for. All right, guys. Y'all know the drill. Can we please like the video? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. What are you doing watching this far and never subscribing? What is with you? And uh, hit that noti bell. And we will catch you guys next year. Even again, hope you all have a wonderful Christmas.